everyone, I'm meteorologist David Jones. Today's headline, ho-hum, more of the same, but there is some frost in the forecast. Here's the story for you. This is what the radar picked up overnight from that weak system, just a trace of rain east of Harrison Lake. By the way, the crossed out area was not a heavy rain shower. It's ground clutter from the radar interacting with golden ears and it's pretty much always there. Uh, recall the MOFO precip forecast from yesterday, which I think I worded uh, just a trace east of Agassiz, and that's exactly what we got. So good job, MOFO. The pressure at YVR now 270, and in the past 24 hours, the max min in the west, 16 at Pitt Meadows, 1 at Burns Bog, and the RH 92 at White Rock, 35 at Pitt Meadows. Further east, the max temps 17 at Cultus, the min 3 at Cultus, and Cultus Lake runs the board in terms of RH2 with a maximum 90 and a minimum of 30. With the pressure at 275 at Hope, there's barely any flow, so it's almost no flow, but let's call it weak inflow in the west and weak outflow in the east. The satellite imagery shows beautiful BC being especially beautiful because it's mostly cloud free. Zooming in, there are some cumulus clouds sweeping in from the northeast. These will fade as daytime heating ends with the setting sun. In the near term, weak outflow will continue this evening, disappear by the morning, and light inflow develops tomorrow afternoon. In the spring, there are specific thresholds for mentioning frost in the forecast. If the forecast low is zero or below, frost is mentioned. If the forecast low is one to two, the wording is patchy frost. And if the forecast low is between two and three, a forecaster will enter chance of frost. So with overnight lows to two, there will be some patchy frost again tonight. Highs tomorrow though recovering nicely to just above 20 degrees. And in the medium range, we'll keep calm and carry on like this until Monday when some April rain finally arrives. Have yourself another great evening and tune in tomorrow.